Megan. I have deleted a whole bunch of stuff from my phone. So let's see if we can get through March overview. So then we'll be all caught up. Here is my monthly overview. I um, highlight my money and what bills are going to be paid with that paycheck. Here is all of the income, so I don't forget to include something. Um, my bank reimburses me for ATM fees, and um, they pay me a little bit of interest. We got the stimulus money. Here are all my bills, and I use my Happy Planner stickers to make it all pretty. I have the Liveridge Planner, and once again, I did not use this wrote some goals over here which I do like this pay off a uh, Capital One credit card which I did March 17th don't buy crap I don't need and get my emergency fund up to a thousand dollars were my goals this month and my word is stability the budget mom in step one I believe it was yes establish your why stability is my why so here I have decided that I'm going to do each week on a uh, expense tracker instead of doing one for checking, one for saving, or cash, and one for credit card. So I um, just wrote down what account, so like this came out of cash envelope, this came out of checking, this was put on my credit card, and this Magnolia uh, magazine I actually had forgotten about. And I changed up a couple of my um, categories as well and then I, um, I added it up actually over here and you know everything's highlighted so you can find it so that was actually two weeks so here is just one week added it all up I put planner money back in so this is the expense tractor for 321 through 327 and I bought some stuff on um, you um, off Amazon for my YouTube so I could do my YouTube channel and I just put under business supplies because I want to track how much money I'm spending to do the YouTube videos I don't have a business I just put under that category so here is some other, the 328 through 331. It's not 331 yet, but I only have $2.22 in my account, so I'm not going to be spending any more money. Now my cash is gone. So here is the first money. It's part of my divorce settlement. The money I get, I've only been getting this for about a year, and then I had this left in my um, checking account on the first. The taxes, $150 is taxes for the um, older trailer that we live in that's sitting on my father-in-law's property. Um, we bought this for $7,000 about 10 years ago, so I don't have a mortgage. $100 of this is my husband's um, truck insurance, and I just pay all of that to my father-in-law. Here's my Jeep that I just got December 2020. Uh, my husband actually bought me cigarettes this month. We go up to the reservation um, uh, every couple of months because it's cheaper up there. I put $40 in gas, and I tried to do a checking cushion. This checking cushion's not going so well. I see money in my checking account, and I just spend it. But I'm working on it. So all of that came to $1,021.65, which left me $105.82. Nothing for envelopes, nothing for sinking funds. Capital One is paid off, so no longer have that. So my Corning Credit Union credit card I use and then pay off and use and pay off. Um, here's the payment for that. Left me with $38.78. And we ended up having to go to Walmart and get a bunch of stuff. So that thirty-eight seventy-eight, I was going to hang on to, but it is actually gone. Here is my March 5th paycheck. 
I get paid bi-weekly. Um, my company has con is contributing more money to our um, insurance now. So that brought my paycheck up a little bit. Plus I had some overtime in here. So nothing for sinking cushion, nothing for ATM fees. There's my um, Jeep insurance. It had gone down $10 since last month. Here is uh, putting minutes on my husband's phone. This was cheaper for some reason of this month. I'm not sure why. It's my our um, internet. Um, no gas for my car because I just put gas in my car. And I just paid off the Corning credit card. And Burnwell had not filled anything. I ended up... Um, we're trying to do upgrades on the house. So I have a, had a house... I have a house sinking fund and two hundred and thirty four dollars and fifty two cents was spent out of that. So anyway, with this out of my paycheck, which left me with seven hundred and three dollars and twenty seven cents, um, I decided to up because I'm I'm stopping and getting a little bit more food than before. Um, so eighty dollars <laughs> going into my um purse if I have to stop and get food $20 for the pets envelope um, leaves me with 603.27 left over and then I contributed to my sinking funds left me with 503.27 $500 payment to Capital One um, so I guess it wasn't paid off on the previous page no, it wasn't paid off yet. Okay. So, and then sixteen seventy five to my emergency savings, which leaves $22.03. Uh, my phone is blinking at me, so I am out of storage. So we will continue in a little bit.